minutes into this ball game, he was keeled over. Looked like he was totally gassed. Penn State had an 8-2 lead. He looked like he was already spent. Yet here we are in double overtime. Now as we play an extra five minutes, something to keep an eye on. Rebracha with the first points of double OT. Keegan Murray has four fouls, and Chris Murray has four fouls. It wasn't as much a factor in those final couple seconds, but now it is. Jamal for Penn State, Seth Lundy has playing with four fouls. Lot of dribbling, works out well. Opportunity to take the lead for Jalen Pickett. Look at spin, spin, and finish. Hello, Jalen. So I was constructively critical of that previous possession when I thought he over penetrated a little there, forced it. This time, mm -mm. Come on, Gregory, this time not coming in for John Hera. He came in for Seth Lundy, who again has those four fouls. And Penn State retakes the lead. So this will be interesting. I like the Lee Hera tandem there. And we're switching a little defense up right now. Okay. Eulis just took that within, what, five seconds of the possession? Keegan Murray. Didn't even chance to get set. Uh, you mocked me when I said 89-86. Yeah, not that far. <laughs> we are getting close. Pick it, got the hand in the air and hit it anyway. All five points in double OT for Pickett. They were literally laughing at me when I made that joke before the game. There's Murray for open three. The ball back in the hands of Pickett, who, you know, you come into this game, Penn State's leading scorer is Jalen Pickett. Iowa's leading scorer, Keegan Murray. The two of them in the first half, Andy, combined for zero. Combined. Pickett's got 13 after halftime. Hera used the soft oh, arm, and that's yeah. an offensive foul. No question about that one. That's his third. And he didn't need it either. Yep. Watch this. Left hand. Here's picking on the possession before. Drawing almost some contact, bearing that mid-range shot. With 16 tonight. Euless flew in for an offensive board and draws the Penn State foul. It is on Sessoms. I'll tell you, Euless is 0 for 6, but he's 5 for 6 from the free throw line. So he has made things happen for Iowa. Look, he is chasing that weak side rebound. But Sessoms didn't even see him coming. Well, he's doing the other things, too, really well. He has a new career high. Euless with five rebounds. He also has four assists tonight and zero turnovers. Hits them both. Hits them both. Back to a one-point Penn State game. And again, Iowa, Chris Murray is on the bench with those four fouls. He's not played here in the double OT. And Lundy threw it away. That's about as animated as I've seen Micah Shrewsbury. He was incredibly frustrated when, when he received the pass. Look at that. He knows this is within reach. Do not have unforced errors. Number five, Greg Lee. John you know what's great? Michael Shrewsbury has created an identity with this program. He's been a winner wherever he's been. Celtics, Butler, Purdue. Finally gets the opportunity. Well, they've had some big moments this year, too. 
And they came out of that COVID pause in this building. They beat Indiana. Beat them back. And not after not playing for nearly three weeks. And that started a really good stretch. McCaffrey. Again, some tough offensive possessions here in the second OT. Nittany Lions content to take some time off this clock. Inside of 10 already on the shot clock. Save some energy, too. You can tell these guys are getting winded. Sessons high off the glass and in! His release so fast over the outstretched arms. He sensed Murray coming right in on him. McCaffrey got an open look. Lee flying in. Rebound Penn State. Look, I know McCaffrey's hit that before. But I don't think Keegan Murray needs to be a decoy right now. Well, every time Sam Sessoms takes a shot, it feels like it's tougher than the one before. And he has hit some clutch baskets down the stretch. Five on the shot clock. An open three. Rattles out. Huge miss for Miles Dredd, who sent this game to double overtime. Murray on the baseline. Chris Murray the rebound. Bohannon for three. And Murray is fouled. He would not take no on that rebound. Look, Iowa has the right guys taking shots. Those were all decent looks. Here's Sessoms. High off the glass. He's got both Murray brothers coming at him. Splits the pair. Iowa got the first lead in double overtime. Jalen Pickett scored the next five, and Penn State has held the lead here for most of the double OT. Pickett gets the switch. Trying to drive on McCaffrey. Steps back. Tough three. Long rebound. And it's Iowa basketball, and the shot clock turned off. So, I mean, Jalen Pickett has these possessions. Where it's sort of Mr. Fan. A couple possessions ago, same deal. That whole possession was him. No ball movement. Well, a two-point game, 27.6. Both teams have a timeout. And you're going against a team that can kill you on three. Multiple three-point shoot. Do you try to take the clock down? No, they're going to go for their best look. Bohannon streak into the basket, doesn't get the ball. Murray around a screen. Look for three. Dread the rebound. You have to foul. And McCaffrey commits it. He'll send Miles Dread to the free throw line. Now that was a good look for Keegan Murray. He makes that shot. I mean, this has just been an evening where he's been a little consistent despite having 18 points. Look, gets the flyby. I mean, that, that that's a shot for him. It just didn't go. Keegan Murray tonight, 5 of 17 and 1 of 6 from beyond the arc. Was scoreless in the first half, played only 6 minutes with foul trouble. All 18 coming after the break. How about Miles Dredd? He's had an injury riddled season. Obviously led to some inconsistencies, but he's stepping up huge tonight. And he puts Penn State up two possessions. Iowa's got to go fast. Euless pulls off elbow jumper. No. Lee the rebound. Murray the foul. And Penn State going to walk it to the other end. Look, Jason, I know it is frigid out. 
but this team is worth watching. You see behind the basket there? There needs to be more fans. Yeah. They need to come out. 5.8 remaining. Remember, Iowa does have a timeout. But neither way, Andy, I mean, you got to get this up. This is a two possession game. Almost at 80 90. <laughs> <laughs> If you're wondering what Andy's referencing, that's the score of the game when they played at the Palestra in 2020. Also the time of Andy's interviews with both coaches' pregames. <laughs> so I said, hey, why not? 88-83. Murray, tough three. Hits with 1.3 on the clock. We're not done yet, and Iowa's got 86. <laughs> This is ridiculous. You all mocked me. Look at Keegan Murray. When it matters most, see, he needed to touch the basketball on some of these other possessions. It's not crazy analysis to say that. Well, and yet he did. Well, Iowa had missed its last nine shots before that one fell. Another 20-point effort for Murray, but he has had to work for it and get a lot of this here in the extra session. So now, they added two-tenths of a second. All right, so Iowa's obviously going to try to go for the steal here. If you're Penn State, you just chuck it long and make sure someone touches it. Well, you got to make sure, because you cannot allow Iowa to win this game. I don't care if there's one second. I mean, they've got players on this roster who can hit deep, long threes. So Dredd to inbounds to pick it. They don't throw it long. They get it to Dredd, and he is fouled. Now that is on Chris Murray, and so he is fouled out of this ball game. Now, the, the only thing about and to your point about long threes, if you throw it long and you put two or three guys there just to make sure someone taps it, you're probably going to end the 1.3 seconds. Right. If Miles Dredd misses oh, one of these Miles two, Dredd. yes, it's a prayer, but Iowa's got a shot. Oh, yeah. Now, now, Chris Murray has fouled out of this basketball game. I'm not sure why he is still on the floor, and I'm not sure why nobody knows it. Now, they have just changed the scoreboard again. Both the official scoreboard, but Chris Murray in the official stats is listed with five fouls, but he is still on the floor, and it doesn't matter. Trent hits both free throws. Four-point game, one second. What a win for Penn State. Last heave, no good. In double overtime, Penn State knocks off Iowa, 90 to 86. Happy Valley is feeling pretty good tonight. What a win for Penn State, double overtime. Mike